there fellow guitar slingers, welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is for Prelude by J.S. Bach. Before we fire into things, just remember that the sixth string for this piece has to go down a tone to D. So it sounds the same as this, but one octave lower. Let's kick straight into it. We start with an open D. First finger is 2nd fret on the G string. And then we have a pull off from 2nd to open on the 1st string. And then we pick again on the 2nd fret. Then we're going to alternate from the G string, 1st string, G string. Then we're going to do that exact motif again, but the first note is going to be an open D. First bar together. Next bar. Here we start with an open D again, followed by an open B, then a pull off from the third to the second fret on the first string. Then back on to the third fret and then open B, first string, open B. Then we do that exact motif again with an open D down here. Then we're moving back to the open D here and we're going to do a bar, a very small bar across two strings with the first finger at the second fret. So it's open D, second fret on the B string, third fret on the first string and then a pull off to the second fret back on and then B, first string B. And you guessed it, to the open D, sixth string, and then the same motif again. So that bar. Then we're going back to an open D. We've changed our fingers around slightly here. 3rd finger, 3rd fret on the B string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret on the 1st string. So there we're doing a pull off from the 2nd to the open on the 1st string and then back on to the 2nd. Then B, 1st B. Then we do it again with the open 6th string this time. But the very last note isn't on the 3rd fret, it's on the 2nd fret this time. Like that, so let's try that bar. Alright, moving on. Here we have open D, open B, then a pull off from the 2nd fret to open on the 1st string, then back on. You could actually bar this if you wanted to, like that, here you're putting on a bar, but I'm just going to teach it to you without bars. Here we go to the 3rd fret on the B string, then 2nd, and then hammer on. finger, 4th fret on the G string, and then 3, 2, 3. The 2, 3 is a hammer on. Moving to this, 4th finger, 4th fret on the D string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret on the G string, pull up to the 1st fret, then back to that 4th fret on the D string. That bar. First finger, 1st fret on the G string. 4th finger, 3rd fret on the B string. Okay, so there's some alternating there between the E and the B. Here, 
second finger goes onto the second fret of the, well, I should call it the sixth string because we've tuned it down. I can't really call it the E string anymore, although I could. So we're going to that note there. And the first fret on the G string. So the opening of that bar. bar we're going to move along the fret open A and our third finger on the sixth fret of the G string together then open E that's fifth fret fourth fret fifth fret pull off string, open, E, 6, open, E, 7, then open, bar, 3 strings on the 2nd fret, so that's 2nd fret on the G string, 2nd fret on the B string, then a pull off from 4 to 2 on the G string, so I'll run those 2 bars together. seventh chord. Here we're barring five strings at the second fret. We're playing the second fret on the A string, then the fourth fret on the D string, and then we're doing a pull off from three to two on the B string. And then back on third fret B string, second finger second fret on the E string, first finger first fret on the G string, First, then second fret, and then open B, then pull off from second fret to first fret on the G string, stretch out four, two on the D string. That's quite a stretch there because we want to try to hold this E note throughout that whole section. Could let it go, but it would sound a little bit weird. It sounds much more continuous. Then we have three, two, open on the B string with a pull off to begin. Fourth finger, fifth fret on the first string. Then a pull off from four to two. Then open, third fret on the D string. sharp at the same time. First finger, second fret on the B string. Play those two notes together and pull off to an open B. First finger on the second fret of the G string. And stretch out again to the fifth fret on the first string. Then we're doing open E, fifth fret E. 2nd fret B string, followed by an open E. Then we're going up and down the scale. 1st finger, 2nd fret on the G string, open B, 2nd finger B string, open E, pull off, 3, 2 on the B string, then open B, and then back to the first note, 2nd fret G string. Second strings together. Fourth finger out to the seventh fret on the D string. Then we're going to do some pull offs from the fifth fret to the fourth fret on the G string. That there is pull off, then back on, then back to the note on the D string. bar 
guitar at the second fret, playing the A and first strings together, followed by the second fret on the G string, and then we have a pull off that's from the fifth fret to the fourth fret on the G string, then fifth fret, second fret on the G string, followed by fourth fret on the B string and back to the 2nd fret on the G string. Then we're moving to an E chord. 2nd finger 2nd fret on the D string, 1st finger 1st fret on the G string. Together, open B, open E, then 2nd fret on the 1st string, 3rd fret on the 1st string, Pull off to an open E, then open B, and then 2nd fret on the A string. Here we leave the 1st finger on the 1st fret of the G string. 2nd finger comes up to the 2nd fret of the 6th string, and play those two strings together. Followed by open B and open E. 2nd fret on the 1st string. 4th finger 3rd fret on the 1st string, then pull off to an open E, 2nd fret B string, open B. Let's put that bar together. Here we're moving to an F sharp major chord. So I'm going to do a full bar at the 2nd fret, 3rd finger, 4th fret of the 6th string, 2nd finger, 3rd fret on the G string, and we play those two together. So that's B string, G string, B string. Then we're doing open E, and then 2nd fret on the B string, twice. So it's this is kind of like a pivot, then we're pivoting back to that first chord, we'll do that again. We stay at the second fret, barring. So we're playing the second fret on the A string and we're pulling off from third to second on the B string. Then fourth fret on the G string. string. And then we're going to do a series of notes on the B string. 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, pull off to the 2nd fret, then to the G string, 4th fret, 2nd fret, then to the D string, 5th fret, 4th fret, 2nd fret, open. Okay, let's try that all together. I hope you got all that. Alright, the next section. This is bar 15. Remember, if you want to follow along perfectly with what I'm teaching in my tutorials, you really should use my tabs. There's a few advantages to that. One, it's going to be exactly the way I play it. There's so many different versions of uh, a lot of these pieces out there and uh, sometimes you're watching a person do it but there's no matching music and so what they're doing might differ to the music that you download from another place on the on the internet whereas with my tutorials what I teach you is exactly what you find in my music it's the same fingering the same uh, rhythms everything it's tab and music a lot of you guitar slingers out there that can't read music and I understand that so that's why these tutorials are so good. You don't need to read music, all you need is the tabs and follow along with me. Anyway, let's carry on, let's hit bar 15. This has a little bit of a stretchy chord in it. Third finger, fourth fret of the A string. Fourth finger, fifth fret on the D string. And your first finger is gonna be on the second fret of the G string. So that's gonna go like this. So we're gonna 
going to do a pull off there from the 2nd fret to open on the G string. Then we're going to be doing just going from the G string to the D string. Then you do that again. Then we're shifting to a D7 chord. Here we have a 2nd finger on the 5th fret of the A string. First finger on the 4th fret of the D string, 3rd finger on the 5th fret of the G string, and we're sort of doing a bar across. The bar isn't really full, I'm just barring like the D and the G string. So we're playing A and then D string, and then we're going to do a pull off from 5 to 4. And then back on to 5 on the G string. And then from 4, 3, 4 like that. Do it again, but this time start with an open D in, on the sixth string. So that bar. Here we have another bit of a stretch. Third finger, fifth fret on the A string. Fourth finger, fifth fret on the D string. Second finger, fourth fret on the G string. And we're going to be pulling off to the first finger. 2nd fret G string like this. Okay, so that is a bit of a stretch here. Make sure you've got your thumb in a good position at the back. Okay, so that's 5th string, 4th string, then to the 3rd string with the pull-off. Then you put it back on. Then you've got this. Do it again, but start with the open D instead. bar, open D, first finger, first fret on the B string, third finger, third fret on the first string, start with the open D, then to the first fret on the B string, then we're going to do a pull off from 3 to 2 on the first string, then back onto the third fret on the first string, that's B, E, B, as you might have guessed, do it again, but starting with the open D 6th string. Let's try that bar together. Here we have an open D, followed by 1st finger, 2nd fret G string, then 2nd fret on the 1st string, and pull off to the open E. Then back on to the 2nd fret on the 1st string. Then we're going to do a descending run from here to the, the B. It's 3, 2, open on the B string. Then 2nd fret open on the G string. Four, two, open on the D string. Same thing on the A string. 4, 2, open. Let's try that bar. Cool. Then we're going to move up to a G sharp. First finger on the 6th fret of the 6th string. Third finger on the 7th fret of the A string. Then we have an open B. 6th fret on the G string, then 4th finger on the 7th fret of the G string, open B, then 6 and 7 on the G string. Then you do that again. Then we're moving to a G natural. This is bar 21. First finger on the 5th fret of the 6th string. 3rd finger on the 7th fret of the A string. 4th finger on the 7th fret of the D string. Followed by an open B. Then the 2nd finger goes on to the 6th fret of the G string. Then back to the A on the 
7th fret of the D string, open B, followed by the note on the 6th fret of the G string. Great, that ends the first tutorial. Make sure to check the link down below to the second tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed yourself. If you have, please give me a like, leave a comment. Any suggestions you have, leave that as well. As you know, let your fingers fly. See you in tutorial number two.